Hi, Eric Lenask here in the TMC Newsroom. We're coming to you from Interop in New York, I'm talking now with Robert Shore, the uh, President and CEO of NetOptics. Robert, good morning. Thanks for joining me. Glad to be here. So, uh, you know, there's a lot of exciting talk around uh, the move from 1 to 10 gig networking and then moving forward to 40 and 100 gig. Um, that also means a lot of new tools are necessary for people to know and understand and see what's happening uh, in those networks. What are you seeing in terms of uh, both the networks and the tools that are available? Sure, great question. It's very important, I think, from the beginning to think about designing the network in a new way. Um, continuing to build it out on a past design and schema won't work as things go forward. And, and here's the real challenge that we hear from customers. First of all, the speeds and feeds, as you said, are getting faster, 40 to 100 gig. 10 gigabit is very common now. The challenge is, how do they take current tools? They may have one gigabit tools that they have an ROI on and they want to continue to increase it. And put those in a 10 gigabit network, that creates some challenges. We've launched a whole series of products called network controller switches. We brand named those Director. And it solves that pain point. It closes the gap because this device sits in line, allows the customers to take 10 gigabit of traffic intelligently route it and filter it to their tools of choice, they can actually use a one gigabit tool to look at 10 gigabit of traffic. Wow, that's fantastic. Uh, what kind of tools are we talking about? So, in the case of customers are either going to use protocol analysis tools, potentially lawful intercept tools, and then certainly uh, the whole selection of security devices. Now, how do you work with uh, the manufacturers, uh, vendors of those tools? Sure. Um, it's very important to make sure that when customers deploy the NetOptics solution and those tools, it's completely seamless. We have great working relationships with all those manufacturers. They typically will get us advanced devices that we can do the testing with our tools. In many cases, the end customer will test them together as they're going through their network beta and diagnostics. Good. Now you've talked, you mentioned security and uh, network analysis. What's the relationship between uh, those functions at, uh, at businesses today? Well, traditionally, they have been separate departments inside an organization. And it's created a challenge in some cases where they've had to get the funding inside their own organizations to support the design of the network and the tools. The trend that we're seeing, and one of the things that we're emphasizing in the marketplace is, again, think different as you design the network. Why don't we pull the money together and show you how you can take funding for both performance tools and security tools and use those together through our network control access products that allow you to actually have both sets of tools looking at the traffic at the exact same time. So how do you, how do you manage to have those tools looking at the same traffic at the same time without reducing network efficiency. Sure, so one of the products that we announced here uh, is the Director Extreme Pro. It's a 24 port, low latency, bi-directional non-blocking switch. It sits directly in line. 24 ports of 10 gig, 240 gig of throughput. So what a customer can do, sit it in line, plug in all their network connections, and then they can take their security tools, their performance management tools, and they can set up the filters and actually take all their network traffic and direct it to whatever set of tools they want. Now you have peacefully coexisting together the performance tools, the security tools, all looking at traffic at the same time. It enables a customer to, one, consolidate the tools, second of all, get a much better ROI, and three, get visibility into parts of the network they couldn't before. And that's something that, uh, that I'm seeing as a trend is, is just an increased, a greater need for that visibility into what's going on in that network. Yeah, absolutely. If you think about you know, four or five years ago, you may design a network and say, this particular part of the network, we don't necessarily have to put so much concentration of visibility. Those days are gone. You can't afford to have a blind spot in the network nowadays. The other thing that we've heard from customers that's important is as they deploy a series of NetOptics products throughout the network, they like to have the ability to actually 
get a window into what's happening as the traffic as it flows through net optics. They may not have a tool plugged into our device. So we've launched a whole series of products that actually allow customers to see performance statistics of their network through the NetOptics products. And we changed the game in the way that we do that. From every NetOptics products that's enabled to provide pro statistics, we call it, we actually push from our device out to one of our consoles the ability to see performance statistics, bandwidth utilization, and a health check on your network. Again, increases efficiency, increases ROI, and as you build the network, if you don't have a tool in every location, you still know what's happening with the performance of the network. Why wouldn't somebody want to utilize that? The only reason they wouldn't is if for some reason they don't know who NetOptics is. Once they see these products, they love them. They're deployed throughout the network. Excellent. We've been talking here at Interop with Robert Shaw from uh, NetOptics. Robert, uh, thanks again. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you.